Hey beauty chameleons, welcome back to my channel. I am Tasha if you're new to my channel. But today is going to be part two of the Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow Box look. I know, like I said in my previous video, many of you have received this as a gift for Christmas and maybe want some inspiration as far as what to recreate with this palette. So today is going to be a green and goldish look using Graffiti, Honey, and Zero again. I love Zero. <laughs> Amongst my favorite other finishing products. So if you're interested and wanting to learn how to do this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you always want to do is make sure you use some primer of the sort. Right now at the moment I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer, but you can also use Urban Decay's um, Primer Potion, which is their best seller in Sephora stores. So, I'm out of mine, so I'm using my Smashbox, so let's get started. 224 brush or 242 brush, and we're just going to apply that pretty much in the inner corners of the eye. So definitely make sure you pack on that brush. See, there are lots of color on there. And we are simply just going to start patting that color in the inner portions of the eye. To build up a color, just use short patting motions, just like this. That'll make sure you get very intense pigmentation of your eyeshadow color. So don't use swiping motions like this. Use patting motions like this. Okay, so we have the very first shade on, which is the beautiful honey. Now we're going to just use the same brush, and I'm going to be using the um, graffiti color, which again is this beautiful green right here. Get a lot on there. And just kind of start pressing the color on first. Just kind of avoid fallout. And then once you get the color on, we can start moving that color upward. Now we're going to go ahead and grab a different brush. I'm just going to be using my Sigma, and this is the SS224, just a fluffy dome-shaped brush. And we're going to use the same color. We're going to start bringing that color upward, okay, along the brow bone area. So just dab. I mean, dab color on there. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> but just kind of press it first. And then slowly start to sweep that color along the brow bone area. Now I'm just starting to move that color a ways upward now. But not all the way to because we're going to add another color to deepen this up. So about right here is where we're going to start. So if you can see right in this area there, we're going to stop before we overkill it. <laughs> but now I'm just going to go back and make sure you clean off your brush. I'm going to use that uh, flat brush again. and This is the MAC again. Grab a little bit more of the honey and I'm going to just kind of put a little bit more color toward the inner corners of the eye like so. And then you want to go back on the lid portion of your eye and just start kind of blending that line where the honey and the um, graffiti meets. Now to get that deepening effect the next thing we're going to do is take zero, which is, and we're going to just tap a little bit in the inner corners of the eye just to darken it up a little bit. So right in that socket there. Okay, if you, I'm pushing in, that's where you want that deep color to go. And we're going to slightly blend it on the bone itself. And then start blending in just in little circular motions, just so that color kind of fades out just a little bit. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that color, but we're going to switch back to our fluffy crease brush. And it's going to tap a little bit more of zero on here. And we're going to slightly start to blend over the green just to deepen it up along the brow bone area. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to soften up this edge before we add all that dark shading that I have on this side of my eyelid area. So what we're going to do is grab any of your favorite matte eyeshadow. I'm just using mine, of course, La Rock Beige. You could probably use, if you use a lot of Urban Decay shadows, they have a color called, I believe it's ABC Gum or Naked. That'll work well. Now once I soften up the edges just like that, now we're going to go back and start adding some dark colors. Grab any of your favorite matte black shadows. I'm just using my um, matte or my blackout from um, Smashbox Cosmetics. Now the first thing I'm going to do is again kind of go over where we place the zero just to darken it up and intensify it. If you're lighter skin tone, you probably can stop at zero. But if you're um, medium to deeper skin tone, go ahead and add a little bit of black to darken this look up. Just working in a crease area just like so. I'm just working in this outer area only. I don't want to bring it in the center and darken up that um, beautiful honey. So stay about halfway out. 
Now I'm going to switch my brush on you. I'm just going to use an angled brush. Um, this is Sigma as well. You can use any angle brush. It doesn't have to be Sigma. But I'm just going to go along the lash line just like so. And kind of line it a little bit. See how it's starting to darken up a little bit? And I'm just going to tap a little bit more right in this area here and just start flicking it upward. Now once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and bring that line underneath. So the very first color I'm going to start with is the honey. I want to line the inner corners of my eye area. And I'm just going to use my Sigma and it's just a nice little pencil brush. I guess it's the SS219 or 219. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the honey and just run it on the inner corners of my eye. So right here and then right in this area there. And we're going to stop there. So you want to have a line about a quarter of the way in. Now I'm going to take the angled brush and I'm going to work with my matte black shadow. It's a Smashbox if you forgot. <laughs> Just kidding. And I'm going to line underneath the lash line like so and just smudge it downward just a little bit. And then I'm going to continue to line underneath. So just kind of run it underneath the lash line if that helps. Now what I'm going to do next is um, go back and grab the, uh, I believe it's graffiti from Urban Decay again with the same um, angle brush and I'm going to kind of um, line toward the um, inner quarter all the way to about third out. So about right here to here. This will just add a little bit of a pop of color that we have on top underneath the lash line just to give a little bit more interest. If you get a little fall, don't worry, we can always clean it up later. But now that we have this part done, we're going to go ahead and line the eyes. Now, as you can see on this side, I lined it a little bit different as far as um, winging it downward with the liner. And also, I did the same thing on top, if you can see. And you probably see in my pictures much better. But what I'm going to do is take my favorite gel liner. I'm just using the... Um, Fluid line by MAC and it's the Backtrack. And you can use any liner. Urban Decay makes a wonderful ink for eyes. You can probably use their um, ink for eyes in, I believe the color is called Zero. But it's also a gel liner as well and you can do the same thing. But I'm just going to go ahead and line my upper lash line. Now, I'm going to add one more little wing. So I'm going to do number one, just to find it again. And then I'm going to draw number two right underneath it. You want the one on top just to be slightly longer. And it may not be symmetrical, but that's okay. <laughs> now I'm going to go underneath and do the same thing, just real small ones this time. So if I turn this way, number one, and number two. Today I'm going to be using the Bliss Lashes and these are number 47. I got these back in Labor Day from I Heart Red Cherry. I'm hearing people having problems getting lashes. I'm not too sure y'all. Maybe they have so much demand or what have you. But um, anyway, I'm going to add these lashes on and then I'll reveal the final look. Okay, welcome back. Here is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial as much as I do. You guys don't know how much I really really love Urban Decay eyeshadows. But anyway, I did went ahead and add those lashes as y'all can see. They're not too bad and here's if you can see better little detail that I did on the side of my eyes here. This side was kind of blurry but eh, it's okay. <laughs> but to finish off this look I didn't really add any cheek color. Um, I thought the eyes itself was very bright and bold so I decided just to use um, I contoured along the cheekbone area, just add a little bit of Sephora D50 uh, mattifying powder. And just to add a little bit of highlight, I use uh, MAC, and this is the um, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Powder. And it just gives you a nice glowy radiance right in here. So that's what I did for my um, face. As far as my lips, I decided to break out my Style Warrior lip color. It's called Glaze Sensational. But it's just a nice nude lip color that I like to wear kind of like this is like in my bag a lot when I go places. I know many of you guys are going to ask about my nails. Yes, I 
played around with a little nail art. I can't take credit for this. Um, if you guys are not subscribers to Julie G713, she did a um, tutorial called Snow Leopard Nails, and I was so inspired. I'm like, let me get started. My nails are starting to go back and everything, so I decided to give it a whirl for myself. So if y'all want to learn how to do this, I'll put a link to her channel, and you can check out her tutorials. But rest assured, I will have some tutorials of my own coming up soon. But anyway, y'all, I better get ready to go pick up my son soon. <laughs> Um, but I hope you guys again enjoyed this tutorial and if you have another color request one um, uh, subscriber I can't remember your channel but I will put it down here um, in a second but she recommended to do all the bright in this book so if you guys agree with her I think I'm going to do another look with using um, fishnet and ransom and it probably will wrap up the series from this um, palette here but anyway you guys I will talk to y'all later and you guys have a wonderful day bye